So what would you advise to other documentarians? I know you, this is not your first documentary amongst the two of you, you've done others. Um, how would you approach someone? How, or how, what advice would you give to another would-be filmmaker or established filmmaker on approaching someone? Because I'm sure there's a gentle process to it. You don't want to seem too eager, but at the same time you want to move on it quickly because they're probably busy. I, I think, one I think is a documentary filmmaker, the film finds you a little bit, right? If you keep your eyes and ears open and, and wait to feel that like sort of thing that makes you move forward, right? That that's a big part of it. And and it was very lucky and I and I feel like we were the right we we feel like we were the right people to do this story. We were we were both in a in a place where we had recently given birth. We both cared about the topic a lot and, and already sort of knew a lot about the topic just because it our our lives had led us in that direction. Um, but I also think when in approaching Ina May, we we approached it very um, you know, we held it very lightly. In other words, we said like, well, let's see. Let's just take the first step toward getting to know her. Um, let's agree that we'll come and we'll do an interview for a long weekend. And, and it doesn't mean we're gonna make a movie. It doesn't mean you're gonna sign a release form. It just means we're gonna come and we're gonna get to know you and we're gonna get a feel for what's there. Um, and, and so that went really well and I think our questions helped her to feel comfortable. She sort of got a sense of what kinds of things we were thinking about. Um, and, and so then we were able to start to structure the conversation a little bit more. Well, we'd like to make a feature film about you. This is, you know, I remember we sat in her bedroom yeah. and she sort of said like, well, what would this be like? But you always start out with some naivete when you're starting a film. I mean, it's just, you know, you have the enthusiasm, but you don't realize this film, we didn't realize going into it, the film would take four years to make and, you know, but I, I also just want to add to that, that I think that it's chemistry, you know, and, and Ina May said to us, I've had people come to me and want to make a film before, but I never had two mothers come to me. And she said, I've, I've always trusted my intuition. That's how I've made decisions throughout my whole life. And this is no different. And it was just, it was a conversation on her bed. Like she said, she said, okay, let's, let's just go forward. And you know, we were so thrilled. We were nervous and we wanted to show her that we were the right people, but it, it was, it was about chemistry, I think too. And, and like Sarah said, we weren't, you know, we were chomping at the bit, but we also thought, well, if it doesn't work out, at least we, we were able to spend time with this great woman and have one interview. Yeah, our first trip, we said, let's just do one interview. We were there for three days. We we're like, that's all we really need to do. And that interview is actually sort of the spine of the whole film, so. so yeah, so it sounds like sort of a non-committal type, you weren't too pushy about it, just let's just see if this works. Yeah. And then the chemistry was right, and it sounds like she felt safe with the I think she was in a, at a point in her life, too, where she was ready for this to happen. You know, she was that, I think the second trip that we made to Tennessee, she turned 70, and she was kind of looking back on all the work that she's done, and um, her popularity is, you know, rising, and um, I think that, you know, the, the sort of, system is a little bit broken and people are hungry for different information and um, I think she was ready for it and she's been filmed throughout her her whole life I mean at least since the beginning of the farm they were always there were you know always news programs of you know where they were featured they had an AV crew throughout um, the 70s that had the foresight to film everything so she's very comfortable on camera and so that's another thing it wasn't like talking someone into it who had never been in a situation you know in front of a camera and felt uncomfortable she she's quite comfortable in front of a camera seems like a lot of documentary subjects have been consciously or subconsciously waiting for the camera crew to turn up their entire lives <laughs> <laughs> 